Good evening, everyone, and tonight we're gonna go over, this is the third part of us going over that Undoomed video. Uh, hi, Keeb. Well, not the Undoomed video, the video, the stream actual Jake did on Undoomed, uh, titled Undoomed Takes on CRT. Oh, boy. So, yeah, this is my third part. Before we start, I wanted to say... I wanted to give an update on the vegan gain situation because I did that stream earlier today in the morning and I didn't know it at the time. What I found out was vegan gains got two uh, strikes on YouTube and he privated all his stuff because of that. I think. Yeah, so I guess if you get three strikes in 90 days. YouTube uh, terminates your channel, so vegan games uh, don't expect anything from him in the in the next three months, I guess. Um, yeah, so what if I say, yeah, I, cause I saw someone else uh, talk about him this morning. Uh, I think her name was God. I don't remember already. I know that Prophet Fear said he had something to do with that, uh, and he was very proud of it. Uh, I think her name was something like Coconut. So, her name was... The Coco Queen, uh, she was someone else who uh, noticed it, and I think hers was after I did my stream, which, by the way, my stream got 220 views, which is usually 210 more than I uh, get on these streams, so <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and if you're still listening, uh, because of vegan gains, I suggest you check out my other stuff, and please subscribe to Keeper Dap. <laughs> Coco Queen. <laughs> I like how you spells it like that, Keeb. Uh, it's okay, Keeb. Um, still though, if anyone here is listening because they're a vegan gains fan, or um, are here just to like because they're keeping updates on the uh, Vegan Gains drama, go subscribe to Keeper Dam. <laughs> I would've, if I knew I was gonna get that many views, I would've uh, given her a shout out right then and there. All right, so let's continue. Uh, this corn man guy, actual Jake. So yeah, I left out. I left off around the hour mark, because they started talking about police. Alright. Teaching black kids that police officers are evil is probably the most dangerous thing that you people have done. Right. I oh, cannot stress God, this enough. Hey, you're being aggressive, Jake. Jesus fucking Christ. You're being aggressive, yeah, Jake. Don't teach, don't teach him this. Alright, hour... 45 minutes. Jake is aggressive. Police officers are a threat to their well-being. No, they're not. Not inherently. They just are. And always have been. They're just not. Been. Always have been. Thanks for following me. What a fucking loser, dude. Hey, you called uh, out that ad hominem. This guy's a fucking dumbass, dude. Having people assume you're bad at something because of your skin color. Congratulations, you described an actual racist. And you'll only create more of them by pushing the CRT bullshit. What? What do you mean you're only going to create more of them? Talking about what's bad is not creating more people. That's that not what critical race theory goes over. It's not just talking about what's bad. It's also teaching you that you're inherently going to create those bad decisions. Based on your race. Hey, Spudgun. Oops. Hey, Spudgun. <laughs> the bad thing! 
what are we gonna do? Ignore it and people just like, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna. St-. They won't stumble Wish upon racism, thinking. surely. What a loser, dude. Singularity, thanks to the Prime Queer God. Uh, uh, Mix Vivian, thanks. Where are you here? Are you here right now? Did I miss you? Oh, you are. Hello. I didn't get to it. You just keep talking and talking. <laughs> Easily finding a band aid that matches your skin tone. <sighs> That's. I know. All right. What is Jake going to say? He doesn't think this is a big deal, but this is like, <laughs> especially in cosmetics, this is actually a fucking good, like a... Didn't you just say that you don't think about race in the last... <sighs> ah, I should have left a timestamp. So I'm leaving all these timestamps now. Alright, uh, an hour, second... Contradicts on points or arguments. <laughs> All right, what is he gonna say? Like a like a good topic. Um, if you've ever talked to someone who's not white, you just said that you didn't think about race, that you don't obsess over it. Like this, it's just a little shit. You're just not considered for stuff like a band aid, and I know that sounds. To someone like Undoomed, not like... A no, to someone who basically... Uh, I don't want to say has common sense. To someone who doesn't like to... It's just petty. To someone who doesn't like to make a big deal out of non-issues. Don't... Oh. Uh, ah. Certainly... Oh, yeah, you just, two minutes ago, you said. Race. But don't- Who's constantly thinking about it? I'm certainly not. Uh, you know, I have to replay that, because I have to get Undoomed's part. Um, alright. This, Like, I you think... can do just about anything if you put your mind to it, doesn't it? This... Wow, man. Here's where he says uh, I have watched I have watched the new video, yeah. This is probably something you've never really thought about. It's a good thing to not be constantly thinking about race. But don't who's constantly thinking about it? I'm certainly not. And now you contradict yourself not even five minutes later. Alright, so what do you have to say about the bandage? This is like <laughs> especially in cosmetics, this is actually a fucking good cosmetics. like a like a like a good topic. Um, if you've ever talked to someone who's not white, things like this, it's just the little shit. You're just not considered for stuff like a Band-Aid. And I know that sounds to someone it's like nothing. Undoomed, not like it's a, just big a, it's not really a big deal. It's just another it's... thing. It's just another little and that's thing. What it, should be. it just adds on to the negative experience, right? How is it? Like, it's negative? just like, well, like, um, uh... So, especially for kids, they have bandages of, like, Spongebob or, uh, Elmo or whatever other, uh, cartoon character. Bubble Guppies, Peppa Pig. You don't see anyone who has yellow skin or red skin or, <laughs> actually, those actually, those technically are skin colors. You know what I mean. The literal bright yellow and the literal bright red color Kermit the Frog bandages you don't see anyone has green skin uh, you know in cosmetics are obviously you know you can't match skin tone some of them are only for fucking white people or light skinned black people which is of course the <laughs> I agree to you first world problems <laughs> oh you're bleeding like crazy well I wouldn't want to give you a light colored bandaid I don't have any dark colored bandaids sorry kid <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <sighs> the accessible kind of black person to white America. Um, Undoomed would uh, inherently agree without necessarily agreeing out loud. But uh, I mean, I mean, it's just these little things, dude. It's just the little fucking things that keep piling on. You, if I talk to a black person about their experience, like, hey. What are some things 
that you see day to day in your life or that you grew up with or whatever, just any of your experiences that ever at any point in your life, that just like you felt slighted because you were black. And then you ask that same question to a white person of the same age that has a roughly the same background. Didn't you just you say that you don't answers because one constantly don't think say, about race? The white person. And the black person will be like, yeah, I mean, this happens and that happens. You just said you don't constantly I know this think about race. race. He, he doesn't know what it is. For <sighs> sake. Kids don't want skin colored band aids, they want fucking Spider Man on it. Well, yes. I'm talking about. What do you mean we're not talking about this where, kids? People always asking you where you're really from. Oh, yeah, and actual, he, he doesn't even argue against that. Because that is true. They want Spider-Man bandages. They want Hulk bandages. And other characters I just named earlier, Spongebob, Elmo. They want uh, bubble cuppies. <laughs> uh, what's the... Paw Patrol, yeah. Paw Patrol bandages. Uh, he just dismisses it. He doesn't even argue against it. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I mentioned this in part one also. Uh, ask me about what happened in... Uh, ask me what happened in elementary school, uh, Cretan. <laughs> I'm sure immigrants from Europe are asked the same thing. Yes! Teletubbies also. Uh, I don't know. Still, though, um, that kind of does say a lot that, uh, actual Jake doesn't even argue against the kids wanting Spider-Man bandages. He just says, we're not talking, and then he puts his head down and just dismisses it. Because I guess he can't argue against it. It might have something to do with your insane proclivity to always label Scratch people from mail. where they're from. What are you talking about, dude? Hey, do that, that scribes, that's my thing. You know what, I should have, what are you talking about at you when you said the whole thing about bandages? You're not scribe late. do that all the time. Why is he so stupid? Why are you so aggressive? How you know what, he... since this is part three and not part two, I'm gonna go back to aggressive. Oh, yeah, so it was 20-ish minutes ago. Autism, you dumb fuck. Why is he so aggressive? You dumb fuck. He is so threatened by her. People from where they're from? <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? People literally do that all the time. Why is he so stupid? Why are you so aggressive? Okay, that's probably why I'm not uh, completing the stream uh, when I want to, because I keep rewinding just because I like to um, use his own words against him. Yeah, that's emoji. He's jealous of... Uh, deep, sexy, dulcet tones. Are you talking about Scribe or Jake? <laughs> Sorry. How has he never been in... Does he not talk to other people or what? People literally do that all the time. So I, again, I, I feel like... Anyway, I... Well, have you I, talked to actual people? Have you asked a black person? Um, have you actually talked to a black person or a Hispanic person? about how they feel about bandages being a different color than them. I'm trying not to tokenize my ex, but because uh, I brought her up before, but uh, this is just where well, I Well, I mean, if it was a black conservative, you would just call them a token. Um, I don't have the time to prove it now, because I'm sure this guy did uh, stuff about Candace Owens. Uh, he recently posted about Rolling Millennial. I don't know if he... Um, Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, he also, Corn Man also talks about Anthony Brian Logan, so, I don't know. Because again, I'm white, so this is my experience with it. Um, uh, she was obviously not white. She was Arab, half Arab. That counts as white. Um, yeah, Middle Eastern, that's Caucasian. 
Unless the white person has been raped by a white genocide believing Nazi, this person just calls on Duke Nazi. The cool kids want more gay Spider Man. That's not arguing against his bandage thing. Um, <laughs> um, keep it absolutely, absolutely right. Like if I was in the US and I had something that set me apart from locals, then I'd be expecting that that people would ask me that question. Oh, talking about this corny <laughs> uh, D being jealous of Undo's voice. Yeah, probably why he uh, mocks it so often. Undo does have a sexy voice, no homo. Why are you so aggressive? I sense envy. Yes, that's what it is. Arab, and so she was obviously darker skinned than me. Uh, and we were Not necessarily and obviously. We like, you know, being at it, and people would be like, oh, where are you from? All the time. Literally all the time. I don't know how many times I had to hear her explain to some white, usually a lady, some white lady. I don't believe, I already don't believe this because you. <sighs> all right, I will believe to an extent that people have asked her where she's from. I'm not going to believe it was exclusively white ladies, you uh, race obsessed. Yeah, you just said you weren't constantly thinking about race. And here you are saying only white women asked about your. Um, that's, yeah, because you could just say that so that your audience would blindly believe it. And then they'll continue the whole, oh, white women, uh, white women are Karen's stereotype. <laughs> Angry about Polly's voice, Keith. She's from Kuwait, <sighs> but her mom is white. Like, every fucking... Probably every time we went out right, somewhere and there was an interaction with, an, with a, a, a white lady. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Pretty much. Uh, sorry, I just... I hate when Chrome does that. Or when my tabs in general do that. They just skip to a new window. <sighs> All right. Um, <laughs> Kuwait then, yes, alright, um, <sighs> hashtag Firefox, alright, I'm gonna, uh, step away for like 10 seconds, uh, alright, I'll try to see if I can make it back then, the 5 mark. Ah, uh, that was 15 seconds. Wait, what did I- I just did something on StreamYard. Shoot. Okay, there we go. Ha. Huh. Alright, that was easy to get rid of. Alright. White lady, 35 or older. Pretty much every time. Yeah, I'm not gonna believe that. Where are you from really, though? Yeah, exactly. I literally had one of my- <sighs> That's made up. That's seriously. Where are you really from? There? No one actually asks that. That is a made up lie from liberals. I'm Relatives. glad I stopped oh, following fine. people like Undoom. Okay, yeah. Zoomer. This is why I hate Gen Z. <sighs> Gen Z is the most- Alright, I can't finish that whisper because even though it's just a whisper, YouTube will uh, ban me for saying certain words. Skeptic community is toxic AF. I agree. Except you and Gen Z is more toxic. <sighs> this person in the donation saying that the skeptic community is toxic. Um, how long does your side cancel people? Both Gen Z uh, leftists and leftist Gen Z. How often do they cancel people? And a y'all goats. Who <laughs> weed um, really number? Wait, I gotta hold on. Every time the weed number happens, and I have, and I have, yeah, this right. All right I could skip this. You guys part. want some? <laughs>
No, one of my um, one of my uh, relatives. We were at a family gathering or something, and I was with her. Another took, her took her there, and we were hanging out. And um, um, my I think it was my cousin um, was like, "Oh, hey, where are you from?" You know, the same thing. And uh, oh, my mom is white. My dad's from Kuwait. Blah blah blah. Um, um, and at the time, it was you know post nine eleven. We started dating in like two thousand six. Uh, the dark ages. Chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was uh, I was in high school and. Um, like two, 2005, 2006, somewhere in there. The Dark Ages. I um, can't quite remember. I think it's 2005. And, um, Which, according to Gen Z, or, yeah, Gen Z makes 2005, 2006 feel like a thousand years ago. 2005. And, uh, uh, took her to the family thing. Um, she explained that, and then, like, oh, oh, so is your dad a Muslim? Yeah, he's a Muslim. Oh, but, but he's one of the good ones, right? I'm not believing that. I'm not believing that. You're just, uh, this guy's just gonna make stuff up just so it'll rile up his uh, far left audience. Yep. African American, Asian American. Spoiler alert: They're just Americans. Yes, they are just American. Some of the ways that. All right. What are you? I just fucking love. I just love the idea that a black person goes. First of all, first of all, first of all, how many people say African American anymore? The the black community seems to really, really take into just being the black community um, and saying like, I'm black, true. and that seems to work well for most people. Now, some people do. Says my aunt's pretty pale for Latinas. This is gonna. I already don't believe this, and they still got told to go back to their. No, I I don't believe that. You're trying to make. Hispanics and Latinos oppress. This is so disgusting. You're seriously using uh, people in your own family just to experiences that they likely didn't even. All right, what was the race? Let's say this did happen. What was the race of the people who told them to go back? Because even if this did happen, if you don't say their race, they're probably not white, are they? Because there are plenty of black people who hate Hispanics. There are plenty of Hispanics who hate black people. So I have to go back to the country a few years ago uh, when they visited NYC by a random waitress because they were speaking Spanish. Yeah, I don't believe that. I like how you conveniently don't say the phrase dine laurel. Depending on their heritage, maybe they're like, I'm Haitian, I'm, I'm from... Um, Nigeria. I'm from Benin. I don't know. Like, um, but if black is uh, most yes. of the community says I'm black. Like, it's all my black friends. I don't know about you guys, but um, they, they all prefer. <laughs> Surprised Dinah like, didn't say that. African American sounds like patronizing, both to me and to them. Dude, but, uh, you've been patronizing um, this whole stream. <laughs> it's not about. It's not. Everyone agrees that everyone's American if they want to be. Like, that's fine. It, it's, As a natural redhead, the whole cartoons matching the drapes. Thing is effing crazy. I remember a grown A man massive my All right. It's a. I genuinely don't understand why acknowledging that. Why so dankness? Is this guy a fascist Michael Moore in a fake suit? What a coward! Well, assuming you called him a coward just because he's right of Stalin, um, that makes you the coward. That, that there is a difference he thinks is bad, but then also saying like, hey, and that difference doesn't mean many things. That's the part he has he has a big umbrage with. You can't mention that there are differences, but if you do, you can't mention that it's okay and that someone shouldn't be there. But at the same Wait, what is your argument now? Sometime he'll do something like, like, Oh, all you feminists just want to say women and men are just like each other, which isn't a thing that anybody says. But he's literally said that before. Very strange. Do not call me American. I wouldn't dare. <sighs> all right, so this guy seems all over the place. I'm gonna have to. Ha <laughs> spot a gun. <sighs> so. It's not about. It's not, it's not about. Everyone agrees that everyone's American if they want to be. Like that's fine. Yeah. It, it's. It's a. I genuinely don't understand why acknowledging that 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 there is a difference, he thinks is bad, but then also saying like, hey, and that difference oh. doesn't mean many.
I know where he's trying to go with this. He's trying to create a straw man. So, no, Undoomed is trying to argue that there is no difference between uh, white or black people or Latinos or anything. Because that is what critical race theory is teaching. That's what the girl or the lady in the video is teaching. And you're trying to defend that people are... Yeah, you're trying to defend the notion that people are different based on their uh, skin. Or the color of their skin. Things. That's the part he has He has a big umbrage with. You can't mention that there are differences. Because there aren't differences if, between people uh, of different races. If you do, you can't mention that it's okay and that someone shouldn't be treated better. You can't mention the differences. Okay. Yeah, because if you said that the differences between white people and a certain race, a certain other race, um, was okay, would you be uh, fine hearing that? But at the same time, he'll do something like, like, oh, all you feminists just want... That's an ideology. Feminism is different than uh, black people and uh, race in general. Say women and men are just like each other, which isn't a thing that anybody says. Well, yeah, feminists don't believe in equality. But he's literally said that before. Very strange. That's not, not the gotcha you think I wouldn't dare. Is. What are you what are you puffing on this fine evening? I don't even know what it's called, dude. Hang on, totally style says I just can't understand how he doesn't understand that other people have different experiences than him. Theory of mind is supposed to develop when you're like five you're wrong, you're ironic that you spell that, uh, given that you mentioned how it's supposed to develop when you're five. I actually probably smoke too much of that. I can feel it in my brain right now. Um it just tasted like OG could. I, I don't know what what Rambling. In fact, white really privilege good. can show up without anybody noticing. Like Why blue. don't you just shut your cocksucker there, dickweed? <laughs> wow. It's almost like it's invisible, isn't it? In fact, wow. Jalen Jean. Really good comment. African American, the terms African American, the term Native American, are are ways to assuage white guilt, in my opinion. White guilt should not be a thing. There. Because that, uh, that's dangerous and leads to a lot of yep. hate. <laughs> and <laughs> that's why I'm up. against critical race theory. There. Part of having white and actual hate. Like it leads to actual hate. Because imagine if you shamed uh, the black people for things that they do now. Because that would be a lot worse than shaming uh, white people for what quote unquote their ancestors did. And if that's the case, then are gay people and trans people responsible for their homophobic and transphobic parents disowning them just for being gay and trans? <laughs> I think it's so stupid. I can't believe this is taking so long. I'm so over him. Then why did you do, why is this your third stream on him if you're so over him? It's really quite remarkable. I'm so this glad the rest of the video is original sin, isn't it? You don't feel it. You don't know you have it. But magically, there it is. It's not a sin. No one is. Saying that is a good analogy. All right, no one's saying what. Saying that white people are bad for having any privileges. Not actually. One in a way, they. I shouldn't even say in a way, because that is their intention. Because uh, you're gonna say, oh, uh, you have privileges. Therefore. You should be demonized. This is basically where affirmative action and diversity quotas come in. How they won't uh, hire white people. Or how they'll hire a minority over a white person. Just because of the perceived notion that white people do have privilege. And that minorities... Minorities just get the preference, uh, just because they're minorities and they're perceived as oppressed. Person has ever said that. Not a one. The no only... one has to say that. Have you ever heard the phrase "actions speak louder than words," Jake? Because uh, 
a dose of Buckley is guilty of this too. How, oh, uh, no one has to say that. And I'm trying to think of an example from a dose of Buckley because I know that he uh, used this tactic before. Um, well, I mean, the most prominent I could think of for a dose of Buckley, and I don't want to use this argument because I've already mentioned it uh, every time I stream about him, is he says that he's not left. He's not on the left or right uh, as a get out of jail free for him exclu almost exclusively doing uh, videos on conservatives. I know he's pulled that tactic on a different argument, though. Still, though, no one has to say it. Why does everything have to be explicit for you? <laughs> they effing are. There's a demoralization effort where whites are the target because they're white. Um, yeah, I definitely noticed that. Um... I've noticed a lot of that in the past uh, year, year and a half, since the whole George Floyd thing. Anything that, that anybody has ever said about white people having privileges is that just acknowledge that they exist and try to understand how it would be to not have them. That is it. No, that is not it. <sighs> that is not it. There's a lot more to that. There are people who shame and demonize them for having privilege plus even if you say that is it if they don't wreck uh the supposed privilege what do you think that's going to lead to buddy you know as as equitable as you can and understand that there's a difference all right i'm gonna <sighs> privilege in your lives like black people can grow up rich that's a thing that happens but it doesn't mean they're not black and it doesn't mean that like they're not going to face some form of something like a different kind of treatment than they would if they were white didn't you sense. just say you don't think about race 10 minutes ago you said you certainly don't and in the past 10 minutes you've been saying You've been proving otherwise, I should say. I really mean that that treatment has to be bad. It's likely that it might be bad in America. You just... Least... <sighs> Contradict some point or argument. at times not every time of course but sometimes and that's okay to acknowledge it's not okay that it happens it's okay to acknowledge that it happens and it's good to acknowledge that these things happen because even i just tell i just tell people to use their privilege for good and try to do this in myself you don't have privilege just because you're white jailing magically there it is his smooth brain personality undoomed or whoever this dude is gross Zero dimension <laughs> spells with an X. Even the idea of being uber rich, like LeBron James, for instance. Um, I think when he moved out to LA, was it in LA or Cleveland? I can't remember. Um, LeBron James had the N word just fucking spray painted on his fucking garage door. The dude's a borderline billionaire. LeBron James, L.A. You know what else happened? Uh, all right, so this happened back in 2017. Uh, control F, white. F isn't helping this time. It says the white is. It appears five times.
how do you know the perpetrator of this is white? Alright, the word white didn't show up on this. Did they find the culprit? Are they not going to release his race? Um, what do you think of this, Jake? Even more recently, Jesse Smollett faked a hate crime against him. This is MAGA country. He said that it was two white dudes, even though it was two uh, people from Nigeria. If he's black, no. If he's white, yes. For playing basketball, man. Like, and he will be probably a billionaire, for sure. Like, he's not hes not immune from this shit. And, and neither are white people. Guess what? If you're rich, and if you're famous, and if you're successful, no matter what race, you're not immune to racism. It's not exclusive to black people. Oh, and... I should have thought of this, because this is even more recent. Uh, last October... Chris Pratt wouldn't attend Biden's funeral. That's just Chris Pratt. He doesn't like being political, I guess. Uh, the Avengers cast defended him, only for the Twitter mob to cancel them, too. Uh, could they cancel Pr Chris Pratt? They were shaming him, calling him a Trump supporter. And the cast of the Avengers were told they were... Um, yeah, they were shamed for defending white supremacist Chris Pratt. And Zoe Saldana was called the N-word. And those are people on your side, Jake. The woke side. Um, like, it's just one of those things, man, where your treatment just is, it changes based on who you are. And it's okay to acknowledge these things and just try to, we just try to... You just said that you don't think about race. Hey. The overall societal friction that we have, and to do that, we just acknowledge that there is societal frictions, and we try to, especially in the white community, especially in uh, at least my spaces, um, when the conversations come you up don't think about uh, race. with our black friends or whatever, it's like, okay, I didn't really realize that, and I've so many times I've talked to, um, whether it's uh, black women or black men, uh, shit, black envies. Um, oh, whatever, Chris Pratt? Whatever. No, uh, I think it was um, a fundraiser. different experiences, of course, you know, being, being, you know, different parts of gender, sexualities, whatever they got going on. Even it was a fundraiser, not a funeral. Just a country, all that changes. But a through line, see me, that, that regardless of what it is, black people tend to have to consider things about their safety and well-being. I have never once had to consider. Where you it's your own personal experience. And... You just said you don't think about race. Um, totally Style says, Black people living in wealthy areas get the cops called on them for being on their own property. I don't believe that. Uh, Diana Laurel, yeah, Beyonce's daughter's rich as heck, and she still got hate for her hair as a literal child. Black hair is not exclusive. Curly hair is not exclusive to black people. Uh, she could buy my entire life, and people still... Uh, giving a child S for existing while black. Oh my god, another woke liberal saying blank while black. So uncreative, so unoriginal. Alright, uh. It doesn't it? Wow, man. Who's constantly thinking about it? I'm certain. Yeah, here it is. This is probably something you've never really thought about. It's a, it's a good, good thing, thing to, to not, not be constantly, constantly think about thinking race. about race. But it's constantly think about I'm certainly constantly not. Constantly thinking about it. I'm certainly not. Is it in LA or Cleveland? I can't remember. Like, and he will be probably a billionaire for sure. Like, he's not he's not immune from this shit. And it sucks. <laughs> Rock, thanks for following. Um, like, it's just one of those things, man, where your treatment just is it changes based on who you are. And it's okay to acknowledge these things and just try to... Is it as okay to, to acknowledge that you contradicted yourself when you said you don't think about race? Do that, we just acknowledge that there is societal frictions. And we try to, especially in the white community, especially in uh, at least my spaces, um, when these conversations come up uh, with our black friends or whatever, it's like, 
oh, okay, I didn't really realize that. And I've so many times I've talked to, um, whether it's uh, black women or black men, uh, shit, black envies, um, whatever, whoever. Black, black envies, black non-binary. Uh, they all different experiences, of course, you know, being, being you know, different parts of gender, sexualities, whatever they got going on. Dogen Lull says if someone shows an avatar with a suit on when they what talk, a it's a red flag. Seems to be that, that regardless of what it is, Black people tend to have to consider things about their safety and well-being that I have never once had to consider. Yeah, that's like just you. That's just your own matter. experience. Making sure it doesn't look like you're grabbing a gun. Making sure that you because, oh my god, uh, that's just common sense. Things ...about their safety and well-being that I have never once had to consider. Like where your cell phone is held. Making sure it doesn't look like you're grabbing a gun. It's dark. Cell phones are typically black or dark. Naturally, they're going to look like guns if uh, you're in front of the cops and if you try to hold or grab onto them the wrong way. That's not exclusive to blacks. It's not exclusive to black people. Sorry, because I forgot that the woke leftist Twitter mob will cancel you if you say blacks instead of black people. And making sure that you are... The way you... <laughs> this one really pissed me off. The way that they talk to white people they don't know who never consider that in my life ever i'm so casual what you see is what you get oh All so what you're saying and what you're trying to say is so what jake is trying to say that white people talk differently to black people they don't know is that what i'm trying to was that his intention to say that the reverse isn't true <laughs> Assume Avatar is white supremacy now. Blatinks. Oh, I see what you did there, Key. <laughs> but it's not. But it's safe for me to be that way, right? And I've I've heard many people say this before, you know. And then of course it gets even worse. Jalen Jean, the all black female band TLC, said they weren't getting paid equally and they were as broke as broke can be when they were in the top forties in the nineties. Yeah, just because you're on the charts, are you going to mention if that happened to white people, white men, white dudes in a band? Jalen Jean. It's even worse if you're, you know, if you're if you're LGBT, LGBT member and if you're in an unsafe place or, you know, in Mississippi in general, like stuff like that. Like, there's nothing wrong with acknowledging these things and making sure that we try to mitigate it, man. It's so, it's so much fucking coward shit. Undoomed. It's just fucking coward. Why are you shit. being like, so aggressive, Jake? 12, 39. Aggre ah, I didn't mean for this to be in all caps. Aggressive. I speak different to everyone I don't know. I must have an idiot. I, I want to get to know them. I let my inner clown out. <laughs> Why not just have the conversation and be like, Okay, and I synthesize that information and just move forward with it. There's no bad messaging in this book whatsoever. And you... <sighs> There's no bad messaging if you're woke and believe in eugenics. Can never get rid of it. Gee, it's almost like it's not a thing. The thing about it's white privilege is that you don't have to think about being white. You shouldn't. Literally, it was just saying. Think about race all the time. That's a thing to strive for. No... This was also true of me. I like how he paused and didn't, he just let the video uh, continue. Because I think he was going to say, uh, he was going to repeat who's thinking about race all the time. I certainly don't. He was probably going to repeat that and then refrain. Good. As a kid, I never thought about being white. You should Excellent. I never thought that I had extra privileges. And you should Perfect. You don't Kids have extra to think about those things. But because of my white you don't have white privilege. Strangers smiled at me when I walked down the street. How was that privilege? Uh, Dandelion with a comment. Black people. Maybe they smiled at you just because you thought you were attracted. Or maybe they smiled at you just because they thought you were. Yeah. Maybe they smiled just because they're decent human beings and they want to smile just to let both of you know that you're not, uh, you mean no harm. <laughs> Brain dead dead Vins, or brain dead Vins says the faceless skeptic thing makes me laugh. You're probably not getting hunted down for stroking right wing egos. 
people have different reasons for not wanting to be uh, seen or hide behind avatars. I mean, celebrities have been canceled for having conservative beliefs. What makes you think uh, these people would want to actually show themselves? Or maybe they're just, they're not public people in general. Maybe they want to hide themselves so that they can protect their own identity and maybe their family. People are treated like invaders in wealthy areas. White people. Oh, he's so, reading Dan Blinds comment, which is what I was going to read anyway. Uh, Dan Blinds with a comment. Black people are treated like invaders in wealthy areas. White people, white people can be so blind to it because white supremacy is meant to shelter white people from understanding that their role, in, uh, from understanding their role in others. Question. I agree. Uh, you agree because you're woke, and they, all they have to do is say white supremacy, and you'll agree. Um, in fact, um, we I did a uh, uh, Sunday service uh, a few months ago with. Uh, it's going to be another fake energy uh, co-host on there, Aaron Foster, um, who is a millionaire black man. Um, this is going to be another anecdote that didn't lovely. happen. And uh, uh, he played in the NFL. He didn't. And so he made a bunch of money. Um, and um, he got an Airbnb because he, he, he makes music as well. He got an Airbnb for um, somewhere in Texas, I think, or, or nearby, for a, nearby. Uh, a gig that he was playing. And, I feel like um, I've heard him too because I can't imagine him. I to learn um, somehow um, intellectually um, superior um, while being incredibly stupid that people laugh at me. The irony in your comment, Starlinist. <laughs> he got this Airbnb, and you know he's a loaded guy. And uh, they bought the Airbnb, and it was him and like three or four of his friends, all black, and uh, all men. And uh, when they went there, sh this white lady that, that rented the property. I don't believe this. <sighs> so the restaurant there was a white lady. The Muslims, you said, or the Arab girlfriend, you said it was only white ladies who um, asked where you from, and now you're saying a white lady in this anecdote? To them was very upset. Uh, it was like, I didn't realize that there was going to be, that you were all going to be here. I don't believe, hey, uh, I had an experience when... I was called ethnic slurs by some guy wearing a corn costume and glasses. And then in high school, on Halloween, uh, I had eggs thrown at me. Uh, he's continued to, or yeah, I had eggs thrown at me while being uh, called other insults in general. And the guy's Halloween costume was someone in a corn costume. <laughs> See how easy these stories can be? Or see how easy these made-up stories can be? Uh, and she was made very uncomfortable. Like, no, oh, Q, yeah, this no, is just made up. I just made that up now. Because <laughs> the reason I said that is because uh, the, these stories are so easy to make up because this is the third anecdote he gave and he said uh, white women, though. So I'm just trying to make up a story because he said... Um, just to get back at him, because he said, oh, white lady, white lady, white lady. This guy hates white women. Uh, yeah, he hates white women more than Black Lives Matter hates white people. One of those intersectional feminists. Okay, um, yeah, so that's why I said corn costume, because these stories are really easy to make up. We're going to leave tomorrow and do the gig and then get somewhere else to go, say, Good call, or whatever. It was very casual, and then she's like, she's like, <laughs> very made uncomfortable by this because there's multiple black men there. Um, you know, and Mind reading assumes mode. What? Do I really have to point that out if this story's made up anyway? He was, he's got a beer. He's got. He, at the time, he had like like little twisty braids and shit, and it's like, or like a, maybe it was a fro at the time. And uh, 
you know, her, her, her upper class white and delightsome neighborhood was going to be disrupted by three or four black guys sharing a space together. Uh, this guy, well, you, yeah, he's laughing. You can kind of tell that this is made up if he's... I don't know if he's laughing because it's made up and he knows that they're easy to make up. Uh. And it was just, he told me the story and he's like, fuck you then, I'm leaving. And I was so fucking frustrated and, and he was just like, yeah, that's pretty normal. And I'm just like, this blows my mind. And just like those conversations have illuminated so much about like, I'm going to call it the little shit, even though this particular instance I feel like is a big shit. Maybe it's not. Um, this would fucking piss me off. If I was there, I would have fucking lost my mind. But, um, I'd... Well, I mean, you don't have to worry about that because the story's made up. No musical talent, so I wasn't invited. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, the fact that a millionaire, and he's famous in Texas, right? He's Arian Foster. If you know that name, you know how famous he is in Texas. He is like a, like a, a, a really enjoyed person in that area. And like, man. For him to be treated that that way by some just fucking lady, I don't know. He wasn't, because all your stories conveniently involve white ladies. Just little stuff like that, and I'm not gonna tell you any horror stories about my other friends because they're personal stuff. But that one, he he's not gonna tell any personal stories because he doesn't have time to make up, or to tr he doesn't have time to conveniently insert white women in these stories, or he feels or. He probably thinks that he brought up white women too many times. And it's starting to sound oh, suspicious. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much for the follow. Uh, Starlinus with 100 biddies. I feel bad for Uncoomed because I can't imagine living in a mindset that I somehow am intellectually superior while also being incredibly stupid while people have me. Oh, woof. Wormy, thanks for the three gifted subbies, dude. Give one to YRN, Lusab, and Candy Corpses. Yep, I'm from Houston. Exactly, dude. That's what I'm saying. So stupid. That's because you're a moron. How do you know they wouldn't have uh, bronze beaver, thanks, bronze. smiled anyway? I would get invited to more places. That's parts. basically what I was trying to say. How do you know they wouldn't have smiled anyway? Right tomorrow. How do you know that? I said, how do you know that? I felt safe when out and about. Well, kudos to your parents. Uh, she, he's stopping at everything she's saying. Because everything she's saying is nonsense. Because he has to ask. Because she's saying all these things are because, or she's attributing all these things because of her skin. So he's basically asking, how do you know this? Well, maybe he could have just let her continue and then ask, how do you know all this is because of your race? Then again, if he did that, you would have uh, probably yelled off the top of your lungs. Providing a safe environment, I guess. I had more opportunities. Again, I ask you, how do you know that? People didn't look down on me. Do you seriously think all white people just walk around looking down on black people? Where That's the fuck were you raised? Why does that? Why? Why does he think that someone just that it happens means everyone? That's what it. you're trying to suggest, Jake. No, always... seriously, that is what you're trying to suggest. Otherwise, you wouldn't make up so many stories about like that conveniently have white women, exclusively white women, as the antagonist. Does he just have to take everything in such bad faith, or is he capable of listening? You're not capable of listening. Like, does I think he he might have like a like a like a mental thing going on? Like, is he incapable of understanding? Are you want? ableist? Are you being ableist? Answers behind this. Like, everything seems to be to the maximal degree that he can possibly understand it, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's the one who's trying to antagonize white women in every single made-up story. I had a better shot at success. For fuck's sake, you guys, we've been over this. How do you know that? Okay, I'm going back to my original question. <laughs> What's going on? I had all these advantages, even though I grew up without a dad, no money, and never really knew what tomorrow would look like. This is like some form of insanity. How the hell do your privilege compare to a rich black kid with both parents then? I just talked about that, so I don't need to go over it again, but doesn't mean I you were right. To highlight the fact that he doesn't understand the question. <laughs> Condescending like privilege doesn't mean that everything about my life is Condescending or laughing is not an argument. Better than a person of color. If it doesn't mean your life is better, then what's even the point of exactly. this? Exactly. Start. Everybody That's has basically saying the same thing. Literally stopping. 
every time she says one sentence. Cons. It's part of the because every sentence is nonsense, and you're just nitpicking for the sake of nitpicking. It's insane. Human. You Starless, thanks for the tier two for two months, dude. Can never it's create a baby. perfect equity. And I'm so more, over this guy. Try then why do you keep streaming about him? Ends in genocide. What? What the fuck? Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I didn't earn that head start. I didn't. You don't have a head start. start. Well, maybe you needed it since you were in a single parent household with no money. But the main problem is, is that I just don't believe a word you're saying. Oh, uh, and everyone in the chat says, they're, what a dip S word. What? What is he talking about? Huh? I had a head start because I was white. You don't know that. She doesn't, well. I no, it's not that she doesn't know that. It's that. This just isn't, this, yeah, it's just not true. Okay. What if I told you, Undoomed, that there are studies that know that? What if I told you that studies could be manipulated? Actual Jake. Uh, brain dead of in, I grew up in a racist little town, I already don't believe you, where, like, it's technically not segregated, segregated, but... White and black people don't really interact a ton. Black people weren't allowed in my house, and my grandfather outright banned me from ever dating a black person. For the sake of perpetuating a narrative in the chat, I'm not believing this. The divide was obvious, and the racism was loud enough that even as a little kid, it was obvious. I say this, or I say all this to say I was born in 2001. Nope, I'm not believing this. You're Gen Z. one of the only Gen Zers who's, who does nothing except repeat uh, what you hear on college campuses. I'm not believing you, Brain Dead Vin. God, I really hate Gen Z. I really hate that Gen Z shifted far left. Studies agree with this. This guy did tons of streams. Yeah, this guy streamed uh, a few Prager University videos. They did studies. I'm pretty sure you'd dismiss them. How old are the studies? How outdated are they? What source are these studies from? Totally styles as though enforcing racial divides has never caused genocide, and undoomed is not uh, enforcing divide or racial divides. And Stalinist, I'm gonna go insane. Brain dead been like this S isn't gone. No, it's only gone because it lives rent free in your head. You have to make that up and say that you were born in 2001. Therefore, oh, racism still existed when I was a child. Because you acted like you were born in 1951, instead of, or 1941, instead of 2001. On average, a person who is white of equal status you just said you don't think to someone about who race is black has a generally a, a, I guess, more upward mobility within society. This one, that is the cringiest person. thing I've ever seen in this chat. Both ways. Uh, though, if she said though, there, like what does she mean by that? This. You're being cringy just to be cringy. You could say, this like, one. she specifically this doesn't know this. One. But you can extrapolate, you could just, like, path your life and be like, oh, yeah. I, here's her, here's her. Dinah Laura also, like, where she would know I, about, I, I, if, I she would like know about her own life more than him. I've had racist bosses. I'm not believing. Let me guess. These bosses were all white women, huh, Jake? If I was black, I wouldn't have gotten those jobs. Screaming, you don't know that it's cringe. Zero dimension. What all would your I be doing right now if I was black? Right? What would I be doing? I was super poor for a long time, but I was white, so I could get these specific jobs. You don't they know that. Hire me. What if I didn't have a white-sounding name, like I mentioned before, my ex-boss? <sighs> I already said this in, I think it might have been part two. Um, 
names aren't exclusive to races. Plus, there are diversity quotas that would favor minorities instead of you. Just because they're minorities. It was like, oh, I don't, I don't hire people with complex names. I'm not gonna, and that is already, that's a story you made up. Complex name to her. Her. I had a friend named her. her. So that's the fourth story you made up where the white woman was an antagonist. You are making all this up. DePonte, which uh, uh, is, uh, he was a black guy in Florida. And, um, I, if I had his name, which is the fourth clearly anecdote. a complex name in her opinion. Stop uh, quote. That is such cringe. Stop quoting something that's not even something she said. Because I already don't this story, because you gave three other stories where the white woman is conveniently the antagonist. Uh, and only the white woman slash mean? white women. Right. Her ramble was just By the way, I was just talking about, I, I brought him up because I was just talking about him with a friend earlier today and his wife made a really Oh yeah, amazing, uh, uh, spot gun. Rape, race, racism has always yeah, existed yeah, and always will. Yeah. Humans are being one, to people months. who are different. I are as high as calling as well. Jake is a pretty complex name. It's the whitest fucking name in the world, dude. He'll probably be calling me a fascist next. But here's the thing. I could feel guilty about my white privilege, which I did for a while. Yes, if everyone keeps telling you that all that you have is because of your skin color. Not, they're not saying it's. Oh my God, yes, they are. All right, what are they not saying it is? They're not saying that everything they have is due to their skin that color. That is what, that's exactly what she was saying. You fucking man-child. Hey, you're being aggressive. How can you not listen to anyone whatsoever? You don't this listen to wants. <laughs> Was it? You know what? I think this is a good place to stop, actually. <sighs> I seriously can't take more, any more of this. 20 minutes left and if i go for an hour and a half as i did in these previous streams i'm just gonna lose my mind uh, i think you guys could tell that i'm already getting yeah i say the timestamp <laughs> i'm gonna do another one all right so yeah I don't believe a word he says. A <laughs> check light. Uh, is that because I'm... <laughs> Are you doing that because I'm losing my mind? Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have posted link in chat there. So yeah. Um, it's frustrating to listen to people. It's frustrating to listen to this guy. Because uh, he's saying... Oh... I'm going to make up four stories about my uh, life, and in all of these four stories where someone was racist, it's conveniently the white woman. Therefore, all white women are racist. <sighs> Yuck, because I am like Scribe. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. <laughs> yeah, that's what you meant. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Um... Go check out my vegan gain stream. <laughs> I will see you uh, maybe in Keeve's stream. I don't know. 